Yo, what's going on everyone? So welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, we're going to go over the best BO6 settings and just some stuff within your PC that you should turn off and turn on in order for BO6 to run the best for this beta. So let's get right into it. So first things first, you want to make sure that you have Call of Duty on Battle.net, not Steam and not any other engine. The reason why is pretty simple. Battle.net doesn't have any overlays and there's a setting in Battle.net. If you go to settings on game launch, it exits completely. So it doesn't run in the background and doesn't take any more system resources. Sources. A lot of people argue with me on this over Steam versus Battle.net. Guys, just try it out for yourself. It's pretty simple. Battle.net is way better. Your mouse feels way better. Your controller feels way better. Your inputs are way, way better on Battle.net. So make sure to get it on Battle.net. That's really important. And then once you're in Battle.net, you're just going to go to the settings. On game launch, just exit out of it completely. And then uncheck launch Battle.net when I start my computer. And then uncheck use browser hardware acceleration. Then press done. Then go on Call of Duty. If you want to make the Call of Duty installation a little bit smaller, just go to the options, modify and stuff and then just uncheck anything here that you don't need once you did that you can just press play and we're going to go over the settings in game all right guys so once you're in the call of duty black ops 6 settings all we're going to do is pretty simple display mode you can honestly leave it on full screen borderless this game engine they've optimized it pretty well so if you have optimizations for windows games enabled in windows 11 then you can use full screen borderless without any issues but if you're on windows 10 maybe just test around and then use full screen exclusive just because you don't have that optimizations for windows of games option on windows 10 so just go to windows 11 especially if you're on newer hardware i know a lot of people like the old look but i mean they've pretty much just completely started developing windows 11 more compared to windows 10 so there's a lot of fixes and a lot of performance differences so you're going to scroll down just make sure your refresh rate is set to the max if you're on full screen borderless it's already going to be max scroll down nvidia reflex low latency set this to on plus boost this gives you a little bit lower latency it does cost you a little bit of fps but if you're looking for that lower latency and better hit registration just that better aim use on plus boost all the time and then press apply and custom frame rate limit if you cap this at your monitor's refresh rate it's the game's gonna look way way smoother so if you do use unlimited it is fine but you might get some tearing on your screen so that's why a lot of people use g-sync v-sync and all that other stuff but if you don't want to use any of that stuff just because it adds input delay just cap your frame rate limit at your refresh rate so for example if you have a 240 hertz monitor cap it at 240 if you have a 360 hertz monitor cap it at 360 and then so on and so forth and then pretty much that's it you're gonna go to quality now i have my render resolution at 100 if you're on 1440p set to 1440p and then upscaling and slash sharpening i usually use fidelity fx cas and then i just max that out and then press apply if you have a bad graphics card probably just don't do that but if you have like a mid to high end graphics card it's fine to do that variable rate shading i turn this on you get a lot more fps and that's just because it's using a little bit less quality whenever you're moving around and all that stuff so you don't really notice it that much so i would recommend turning this on for everyone texture resolution this is honestly personal preference i just have it on high just because i have a 3090 and obviously my graphics card can handle that obviously if you have a lower end graphics card just do low and then everything here is just off or set to low or very low and then on demand texture streaming this is set to minimal and then local texture streaming quality low then everything else very low slash off and as you guys can see that's pretty much it and if i go to view i have my both of my motion blurs turned off don't really like that stuff yeah if i go to account and network i also turn off dismemberment and gore effects this doesn't really help but if you're on a bad graphics card make sure to turn this off it's gonna help a lot and that's pretty much it for the end game settings now we're gonna hop in the configuration file in the documents folder and we're gonna do some things in there depending on your cpu and depending on other stuff like that so let's get right into that guys right, so open up your file explorer and this is gonna be a really important step and you're gonna go to your documents and then you're gonna find call of duty now before we get started just go to the download link in the description and we're gonna download the configuration file and there's gonna be some other stuff in there regarding your specific cpu just download that so we can continue with this next step. All right, guys. So once you have the config file downloaded, all you're going to do is just right click on it and click extract here. And this is really important. I have different configuration files for different CPUs. So if you're on a 7900X3D, you're going to go in that folder and use that configuration file. And if you're on a 7950X3D, you're going to go in that folder and use that file. But if you just want my settings, if you're on an i9 or an i7, just use my settings right here and you'll be perfectly fine. But for any other PC, you can use this one. The only thing that I'd recommend changing in any of these configuration files only this one right here so if you don't have a ryzen 9 and you don't have an i9 you have a different cpu then you could just double click on this and then you're going to scroll down and then you're going to set this to the same amount of core count that you have on your cpu so if you're on an i9 or an i7 with e cores on just leave this as 16 just because the game does use e cores and you do benefit a lot from the e cores you get like 100 more fps in my scenario so there's a lot of benefit there so just set this to 16 if you 
have e cores enabled if you don't have e cores enabled you just have p cores so if you go to task manager performance you have eight p cores and then 16 threads what you're going to put is you're going to put seven right here and that's for older i9s older i7s and if you're on i5 you're just going to set this to just the number five and then that's pretty much it and what you're going to do is just right click on this click copy go to documents call of duty players and then you're just going to paste this into there and then click replace files so those are like configuration files i'm just going to import the ones that i use personally just because i have this set to what i like and i also have it set to the right render worker count for my processor which is that 1300k so yeah just keep that in mind guys also just quickly we're going to go over nvidia control panel settings all right guys, so pretty straightforward just like in all of my videos you're going to go to manage 3d settings and just make sure everything here is off and then low latency mode set this to on don't use ultra so if you only have the off or ultra just leave it on off but if you have on set it to on and then power management mode prefer maximum performance it's really important texture filtering quality high performance and then better optimization set this to on vertical sync off and that's pretty much it for the nvidia control panel all right so we're going to go over some windows settings that everyone should do regardless of what pc they have and what you're going to do is going to go to system scroll down to the bottom go to graphics settings change default graphics settings turn this on most of the time this just improves your fps and lowers your input delay so just turn this on you can always test around and see if you like this or not but 90 percent of the time this is better on especially on windows 11. if you have windows game mode make sure that is turned on i don't have it on this os so just ignore that but yeah just make sure windows game mode is turned on and also in the bottom right guys just make sure you don't have any rgb software mouse or keyboard software or any of this unnecessary bs that runs in the background this does lower your performance and it does give you worse one percent lows and one percent lows are really important especially in a game like bo6 it's what makes your game either feel like trash or feel really really good so the average fps does not really matter to begin with so make sure you focus on the minimum fps and the one percent lows that's really what makes your game feel good the average fps is just the number yeah it's going to be high on some cpus yeah it's going to be high on some other cpus it doesn't really matter just because the one percent lows are what actually matters and you can't really see those you can only kind of just feel those or use a program that records your one percent lows so yeah just keep that in mind guys but yeah other than that it's gonna be pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed drop down a like subscribe to this youtube channel and put the notifications on and if you guys are interested in a full pc optimization service that goes way more in depth than these videos then go to the zilly.net website in the description and book an optimization we go over everything that you could think of from overclocking to your bio settings to installing the right windows version and making sure that windows is completely optimized and making sure that everything runs great so book down below if you're interested but anyways guys that's gonna be pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed peace out